Wing Attack has been buffed in Season 13 of Go Battle League, which will make this basically the season of flyers. So you're definitely gonna want to get your anti-flyers ready to knock these birds out of the sky. And I'll be trying out two newly buffed options in today's video in Shadow Ampharos running a newly added Brutal Swing and Aurora's running Meteor Beam. I'm running a Shadow Ampharos actually, running Volt Switch and Focus Blast as well. I'm not sure if that's really the moveset I'd recommend. I think generally Thunder Punch will perform better as that extra electric damage is quite nice. But since I'm running Ampharos as a pivot in this team, I like having Focus Blast since it can really surprise some Steel types or Ground types. Might switch into you. I'm running uh, this team in Remix Cup, by the way, so no Galarian Stunfisk or Swamper to completely wall Ampharos. Uh, but still, there's like Steelixes, uh, there's like Quacksires, uh, and their Focus Boss can really be a nice surprise as well. As versus this Dragonair, a Brutal Swing wouldn't do that much, right? So go straight for the Focus Boss, expecting there's no shield, but actually shielded, which is kind of lame. But that does allow my Auroras to come in here and probably just sweep the line. Uh, I think Ampharos. Is a bit gimmicky, honestly. Well, maybe not. Maybe gimmicky is not the word. It's like it's it's gonna be good in some games because some teams just aren't prepared for electric. Like I've seen teams that are literally double or triple weak to electric, but then if you face a ground type, it's just gonna get destroyed. So I think Emperor is a fun Pokemon. The Pokemon can definitely work, but not particularly meta in any way. Aurora's though can definitely be meta. Oh, by the way. Uh, this is still Remix Cup, but there's a Regiseal on the other side of the screen because, well, Niantic kind of forgot to ban Registeel in the first, like, hour of Remix Cup. Uh, so, yeah, it's been banned now, but you're gonna see a couple Registeel games this uh, this set or this, this video because, well, uh, it was kind of forgot, to, uh, they kind of forgot to ban it, which is unfortunate since this game is going to be really tough now, as I'm completely not prepared for Registeel at all. But yeah, Aurorus actually has a ton of play. Of course, it is double weak to uh, to fighting and weak to water, which are very difficult, uh, you know, disadvantages to overcome in the open Great League meta especially. But even with that, I think it has a lot of play. You know, Ice is just a pretty good typing uh, to beat all the Flyers, and then it's also good versus Grass types, which are common. You could do okay for some of the ground types. And then Rock is just a very good offensive typing overall, which hits super effective or neutral versus a lot of Pokemon. It also does a ton of damage. Look at how much damage that did. It's a Registeel, extremely bulky Pokemon. Steel type, resist meter beam, still did a ton. Also has a guaranteed attack buff, which is huge. So yeah, I can definitely see Auroras putting a lot of, lot of work. And you're going to see it do a ton of work in this video too. By the way, that was my first loss of the season. And it was only because my opponent was running an illegal Pokemon in the Remix Cup. I was so mad. But, you know, I can't blame my opponent. I, I, you've seen me do multiple videos on running illegal Pokemon in different leagues, so I cannot blame him. I didn't want to do it this time because Registeel was kind of lame, but you know, if you ran Re Registeel Remix Cup, I get it. I get it. It's a, it's a, it's a good way to get some free points because no one uh, was expecting to run to it. Oh my god, my opponent running an Aurorus just like me, and this is gonna be tough as Meteor Beam will basically one shot me, and I can't bring a Noctowl here. Uh, and since they're up in energy, it's really tough. I shield it up, calling that they're just gonna go straight Meteor Beam, called correctly. Now I'm gonna bait. I really need to get rid of this Aurorus with my own Aurorus, but since I'm down in energy, I need some baits here. I'm actually gonna go for another bait. He wins CMP, which is wild. I'm running an extremely high stat product, Aurorus, like rank 35-ish. I don't. I got so lucky with a trade back in the day on this. I got a really high rank one, uh, which is why I'm extremely surprised I won the CMP there, but apparently my opponent's running an even lower attack one. Uh, they're actually going to switch on, onto the Meteor Beam here with Tropius. I fully charged that, expecting it to not do that much, but it... Just obliterated that Tropius. Can I still get to the meter beam? Oh, I barely do on CMP tie. Yeah, we really wish it did less damage on the Tropius. So I could, would get more farm. And would have a meter beam stored for the Aurorus. So that it would have, uh, would have come less close. But luckily, uh, we still got there. Uh, and we take out the Aurorus GG's. Okay, Registeel lead. Very bad. Uh, uh, freaking not a Registeel. Are you kidding me? It's not going to be the last Registeel of the video either, by the way. I'm just going to go straight for Brutal Swing here. Uh, expecting him to maybe shield, expecting focus blast, but 
No, of course. Why would they? Why would they expect focus blast? Right? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, next time I see a rage steel, I'm gonna try to focus blast, and well, maybe we get the one shot. That'd be nice. But yeah, this time we're just gonna settle for brutal swings, which is fine. Emperor's makes this matchup extremely close. Extremely close. I actually think that with Thunderbirds you might win it because look at how close we've brought it, and brutal swing is definitely a worse move than Thunder Punch here. So with Thunder Punch, maybe I would have not even needed the next brutal swing. I don't know. They're gonna bring in Noctal versus my Ampharos, which is insane. Like, absolutely insane. Uh, they're probably running double flyer or something. So I'm actually gonna catch this Shadow Ball here. I made sure to wait two turns there. If you if you didn't notice, I, I actually paused there. I uh, what made them do a way attack before switching out to Noctal. Because if I had switched out immediately, the switch would have been too obvious. And, uh, well, clearly... Uh, Waiting those two terms really her, uh, helped because, uh, well, they did throw the Shadow Ball to my Noctal, which is quite nice. And they brought out the Galarian. Is this Galarian? Yeah, Galarian Moltres. I'm super jealous of this thing. I actually do have one. Uh, it's my only Galarian bird, but it doesn't fit into the Great League, which I'm very sad about because it would be such a fun pick now that uh, Wing Attack is buffed. But, you know, I can still try to out an Ultra League, and I will probably do that. Okay, yeah, and Frost just cleans up this game, this game now. This is just a, a sky attack, which I will survive. Then uh, he doesn't even get to see my third Pokemon. Very nice. All right, Galvantula lead. Not great. I bring in Ampharos and instant switch into Marshtomp. You know, they could have also stayed into Galvantula. I think Galvantula also beats Ampharos just because, uh, well, he outpaces me to lunch since I switched in. Actually, that's not true. Lunch is 3-3. Three, three. Like three volt switches and then three more. It's always three volt switches. Whereas brutal swing is three and then two. But since they win CMP and I switched in, they're actually gonna get to two. Yeah, they're actually gonna get to three lunches before I get to three brutal swings or even two lunches before two brutal swings. So they actually would have won that, but they decided to opt out, opt uh, to switch into Marshall. They actually made a mistake there as well. They over farmed too much and allowed me to get to the next brutal swing, which is. Absolutely massive for me. I got a shield there. Now I can fully farm down this Marsh Storm. Have a, have a bunch of energy loaded on my Noctile, which Galvantula won't appreciate. I'm gonna throw my first Sky Attack into this thing. Which is actually gonna shield up. I was considering throwing Shadow Ball there, but I was like, I'm gonna need to move with Aurora's to kill anyway, so I might as well just save the energy switch out. But looking at how much damage these Powder Snows are doing, I really should have just thrown the Shadow Ball, because then I would have been able to just Powder Snow down. So, kind of a mistake here. Now I'm going to have to double shield Aurora's. And I'm double debuffed at this point. Luckily, there's a bad debuff in the back though. Which Aurora's just loves. Double debuffed Mirror Beam. Does 50% to a Mandibus. That's insane. Like, this is a strong move. This is a strong move. Next one's going to take out. Now, all we need is a Weather Ball to knock out this Galf. Since we did two Meteor Beams... We're now at, like, regular attack, because they also debuffed us twice, and that wearable knocks out. Oh, another Registeel. How fun. How fun. I <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Can't I literally faced two in a row there. Wait, was this two in a row? No, no. I faced... Uh, there was one game in between. Yeah, there was one game in, in between. Like I said, this time I'm going to go for Focus Blast. This last one didn't shield. This one should shield, right? Shouldn't shield. But they do shield, which is so lame. Uh, this puts me in a tough spot. Honestly, I would never recommend you to go Focus Blast there. It is just a very risky play. Of course, if they don't shield that, like, that's huge. Uh, but you might as well just go straight Brutal Swing. As you still make the matchup close enough. I think I'm going to shield this next one. I'm going to go for another Brutal Swing. I think this is the scenario where I think Thunder Punch would have actually won me Switch Advantage there. Because then I would have definitely knocked out. I'm going to keep my, uh, my Ampharos alive though. So I'm gonna because there's probably something weak to it in the back. Seeing as it's staying in. So I catch the Focus Blast onto my Noctowl. Out comes their own. Looks like they were quite weak. Maybe it is another Double Flyer line. That'd be quite nice. I'll be able to get to the Sky Attack here before they get there. They're probably gonna overfarm a bunch, which it's not ideal, because if they do, they're gonna have their Shadow Ball basically loaded from my Ampharos, which would knock out at this point. This uh, just knocks out my knocked out, right? Yeah, it does. I think I might just bring out Aurora's, since Aurora's can easily tank a Shadow Ball from Noctowl. Yeah, Aurora's a tanky, very tanky mon, as you can see. I wouldn't say it's very tanky, but it's like, uh, it's like decent bulk. It's very, very decent bulk. Is it this video? 
I have another team with Auroras, which will probably be in the next video. It has Charizard as well. And I think I had a one game with that team where my Auroras tanked an Avalanche and a Shadow Ball from Frostlass. It was pretty insane. Yeah, Auroras just cleans up there. Oh, maybe it's this game. Ooh, actually, maybe it's this game. Oh, spoilers, spoilers. A uh, Frostlass lead. Pretty bad. <laughs> oh, man. Pretty bad for Noctile. So I switch into Ampharos. They bring in the Den, which is just so bad. It's just, it can just resist everything Ampharos throws. Expecting a no-shield. I go for Focus Blast. It does so much damage. So, you know what? I'm just gonna shield up my Ampharos at this point and farm this the Den all the way down right before they can get to another move. If they want to bring out that, that Frostlass once again, Brutal Swings are gonna do work. Throw the first Either knock out the Frostlass or take a shield. In this case, take the shield. Gonna throw another. This will take another shield, most likely, or take it out. Uh, I don't think I can get to another one before getting farmed down. So I actually switch into Aurorus because I didn't want to get farmed down. We're gonna throw an Avalanche here, which is so weird because Avalanche is resisted, where Shadow Ball is neutral. So I'm really hoping this is another Avalanche. But no, it's a Shadow Ball. But Aurora survives. That's a Shadow Ball from a Frostlast right there. And it didn't even do 50%, I think. That is insane. We took out the Frostlast with the Meteor Beam. All that's left over is a Noctowl on the opposing side of the field. And after doing some damage to Ramphoros, my own should be able to knock it out. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I closed my phone. <laughs> I accidentally closed my phone there. Uh, so, yeah, I almost messed up that game still, but luckily I was able to open my phone back up again in time uh, to, uh, to knock it out uh, with my own Noctile here. And, you know, I, I, I gotta do it. I gotta do it in, in, in style, of course. We're not gonna, just, just gonna go for the sky attack. No, 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 no. We're taking it out with the Shadow Ball. A GG. Oh, no. Aurora's lead. That is quite bad. I bring in the Ampharos. Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty bad. I'll come comes Machamp. This is definitely something uh, Ampharos struggles with since uh, Machamp just kind of outpaces and these counters are doing a ton of damage. You know, Volt Switches are, are adding up too, but counters are just adding up quicker. I could have gone... Got into another Brutal Swing there, but I didn't think it was worth it. So just let my Ampharos go down. I don't wait out my Switch Timer, which is a very big mistake. But yeah, it's a huge mistake. I should have just waited out my Switch Timer. Uh, but I was impatient, so I didn't. And that's going to cost me, because that means I now got to throw the Shadow Ball in order to get the heck out of this matchup. And my Noctowl goes down, so yeah, if I just would have made it up a Switch Timer, I could have saved my Noctowl, but I didn't. Uh, now I'm gonna have to make a risky play, call the Weather Ball bait, which I did. Now I'm gonna go for the Meteor Beam, hopefully they let it go, but no, they shield, sadly. They're gonna go for another move, do I call it again? No, I am scared, so I shield it up, and it is the Weather Ball again, oh no, that's bad. I'm gonna go for my Meteor Beam in immediately, and unfortunately I lose CMP, which is very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. This is the Meteor Beam, so good shield, but man, I wish I over-farmed here. You're gonna see what's in the back, and if I've just over-farmed by like five Powder Snows, which I could have right there, I would have gotten to the Meteor Beam before this Pelipper reaches the Weather Ball, but since I didn't, we're gonna get taken out there. And that's another loss. Okay, next match. Oh, I don't think there's no match next match. That was the final game, ending it on a loss, Sag. That's okay, that was still a good showcase of these anti-flyers. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Good luck with your battles, trainers.